Welcome back. Let's get you some more news from the city now. Shopkeepers in Kotulpuram area today staged a silent protest condemning the opening of its second Tasmac bar in their locality. They had down their shutters for 24 hours starting today. This has been reported as a huge inconvenience and a security threat as well to those of the neighbourhood. The wine shop here, right in the front of the market, is going to be a threat to the peaceful, li peaceful living people. Already one is there on the end road to the railway station, which affects all the people who are commuting to the railway station every day. So many children, young girls, aged women, they are all going and coming back from the railway station. Even that shop should be removed from Kotor because all miscreants, criminals and hooligans only use the wine shop for their purposes. Politicians use it when there is a need. So there is no need for a wine shop right on the front of the market here, which will disturb the peaceful living of the people here. School, school, market, Moving on, a 20-month-old baby Kavita went missing in Virgambakum area yesterday. The little girl's parents say their daughter was playing outside their home when the incident happened. She was last seen wearing some gold and silver jewellery. Parents of the victim have registered a complaint with the Virgambakum police and efforts are on to trace the missing toddler. And you can contact any of those numbers on your screens if you have any information. In some update from the Arakonam train accident, the driver of the train that was headed from Chennai Beach to the Velo Cantonment area and had uh, rammed into a train in a major accident last week has been discharged from the Rajiv Gandhi Government Hospital. Doctors say his health condition improved and that his stitches have been removed. He is being advised to approach the railway hospital in Perimbo for further treatment. The inquiry into the accident is still on and a report will emerge this week. The man accused in the Vilipuram murder of the 21-year-old woman has been arrested. The man, Rajashekar, slit the woman's throat after a verbal duel, a dispute uh, on the distribution of medicines in a pharmacy. The man, who was a colleague of the young lady at the private hospital, was uh, from the Vilipuram area. There was a public outrage in the district in the past few days demanding the arrest of the killer and that was when the accused tried committing suicide by consuming poison. In national news that's been making headlines, the number of dead in the Sikkim earthquake has now climbed to 68 in India itself. In Sikkim alone, 50 people are dead, 20 have died in neighbouring Tibet and Nepal. Air Force helicopters with quick reaction teams have finally landed at Mangan, the epicentre, after repeated attempts failed due to bad weather. Sudhi sent us this report from Ground Zero. I'm at the Secretariat at Gangtok and this is where the Sikkim government functions from. Now as a result of Sunday's earthquake, this is what has happened to this building. You can see there are huge cracks, the plaster is coming off and even a, one of the pillars of the building has been affected in, and in fact you can see the TNT bars of the pillar uh, very clearly and this happened as a result of the tremors that took place during that earthquake. Now the earthquake of course as we know measured 6.8 on the Richter scale and the walls here also bear the marks of those tremors. The plasters peeled off, there are huge cracks all along the side of the wall and even on the ground. Now this is what the earthquake left on the ground here. As you can see there's a huge crack right across this road and this is a mark of that earthquake that took place uh, on Sunday evening and rocked not just Sikkim but areas, neighboring areas as well. This is what the impact of the earthquake is. Of course, areas of North Sikkim like Mangan have been very badly affected and we've been reporting on that as well. But as far as Gangtok is concerned, this is one of the buildings. In fact, the chief minister's office is inside this building and that too was affected. But you can see how that earthquake left marks here. In fact, the ground cracked. And this is the story all across the building. The windows are loose, there are cracks all across, and this all as a result of the earthquake that rocked these areas on Sunday evening. With camera person Rakesh Singh in Gangtok, Saurabh Gupta for NDTV. Up ahead on the news tonight, even if it means the end for Kochi at the IPL, their spinking will not stop, even if it means going back to being bid for.